Hey, what's going on? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you once again. So, <laughs> looks like the Cowboys are on the run for safeties because um, in addition to signing um, Dominic Sanders, they also are working out this week safety Jerron Johnson, which is a former Seahawk player. So it's not the guy that you guys wanted, huh? It's not Earl Thomas, is it? No, it's not. It's not Earl Thomas. Why is it not Earl Thomas? And you're going to be even more mad when I explain this to you. So they're working this guy, Jerron Johnson, out. He's 30 years old. That's not the problem because we, we did want a veteran. We wanted somebody that's been in this league, that's experienced, somebody to um, hold that fort down so... Uh, Xavier Woods can get his feet up under him and 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 um, learn how to be an NFL safety. So he's 30 years old. He's played with the Seahawks for five years. He was on that Super Bowl team, and he has experience in Chris Richard's scheme when he was with the Seattle Seahawks. Now, if that's the reason why you're looking at him, okay, I understand that part. But when you look at his track record, uh, he has no career interceptions. I'm going to say it again. Zero. Zero career interceptions. One pass defense. And a handful of tackles. What? What? Why? Like, uh, flabbergasted right now. Um. Anyway, he's undrafted out of Boise State, which you know apparently the Cowboys love Boise Boise State players. Um. Back in 2011, uh, he had a cup of coffee with the Redskins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So he's, I guess you could say, he's a, been in the league seven years. Five of them with, um. The Seahawks. Now, I don't know if this somebody that Rashard wants, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I know you guys are going to be pissed, and I know what you're going to say. You're probably going to be like, okay, here we go. Jerry Jones and, this, and the brass are trying to get a cheap player. They're trying to go cheap instead of trying to get a vested veteran that actually is a great Pro Bowl caliber player that can help the team. I agree. I don't understand why they're not actively uh, pursuing Earl Thomas. Now, I understand why they're not in, in the aspect of because the Seahawks are making it difficult for the Cowboys to get Earl Thomas because the Seahawks feel like they don't they don't owe Earl Thomas anything right now. And from their brass, they're looking at it like this. You're going to bring your ass and you're going to play this year, whether you like it or not. And then next year, you can figure out where you want to go. But right now, you're going to be on this team. That's what the Seahawks are saying. Because they're like, I'm not trying to... Uh, if, I, if I'm going to get rid of them, you're going to give me something. But the Cowboys not giving up nothing crazy. And I don't blame them because I wouldn't give up nothing crazy for that. I understand it's Earl Thomas. But again, you have to understand that uh, draft picks are important. And I'm not giving up a second, a first and a second, or a second and a fourth. I mean... I'll give you I'll give you a fifth and depending on how many um I don't think we're gonna have any um compensatory picks uh next year. It depends on how many compensatory picks we get. We'll we can maybe get rid of maybe two late round draft picks, but not not nothing earlier than third round. No, hell no. We need our first, second, third round picks. You need those. I mean I might could finagle, I might dangle a, a a fourth round draft pick or a fifth, but nothing less than third. Not doing it. Um, because if that's the case, you might as well wait for next year. But the only problem is you wait for next season. Will the Cowboys need him next year? That see that see that's the thing. Like we need it right now. Um, I feel like they're not gonna aggressively go for George um, Iloka because the Raiders are actively trying to get them and. The Cowboys are not trying to go into a bidding war with any other team right now, which I guess I can understand that. But again, you got to get either George Iloka or 
Earl Thomas. You gotta you gotta figure something out. You gotta get either one of them. Because those two guys have track records. They have over 43 tackles in their career. They have interceptions. They have proven that they can be something in this league. Now we know Earl Thomas is better than uh Iloka, but Iloka is heads and tails better than this kid Jerron Johnson. I feel like you're just wasting your time with him. It's just another death guy. Just like with them signing Dominic Sanders yesterday. That's a it's a death guy. It's not a starter. I just I I understand Jerron Johnson has a familiar familiar you know what I mean. He he knows Chris Chris Richard's scheme. He knows what he does. I get that. But, you know, god damn, you ain't got no interceptions? None? Bro, none? You ain't got no interceptions. None. But you got undrafted guys coming out here. Well, other undrafted guys out here making plays and getting interceptions. I mean, you didn't even get a lucky interception like like, it, the ball popped up and you just happened to be at the right place at the right time. You didn't get one of those? None? You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me? In seven damn seasons in your career? And five of them with the Seahawks with the Legion of Boom. With the Legion of Boom. You have no interceptions, bro? None? What in the hell are we doing? I Let me know what y'all think. I just... it it not. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't freaking get it. What are we doing right now? And I know it's frustrating, fans. I know it's frustrating. Because I know we're tired of talking about this Earl Thomas thing. I am too, which is why I don't speak on it so much. But I'm speaking about it right now because you're going to go get another Seahawk, a former Seahawk, that ain't, that ain't bust a grape in the league. Hell. Okay, whatever, look. I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just a fan. Yes, I've played football, but I've never been in the NFL. So maybe they know something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at the positive in that. But I can't see it because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. If it don't make sense, it don't make sense. So to say that, bro, no interceptions, man. None. None. No interceptions, bro. When they say a few tackles, what the hell is a few? What the hell is a few tackles? Is that two? Is that three? Is that four? Can't be more than five, because when you're talking about a few, normally a few is two or three. Like when you saw about it's a it's a it's a it's a few pack of sheep over there. It's a few of them. That's two or three. It ain't more than five. How the hell don't you have more? Unless the Seattle Seahawks, when they played him in those five years, I we, we know you wasn't a starter because, you know, you ain't beating out Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor and all them boys. You're not. But, nigga, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you even play on defense? Like, first of all, even if you didn't play on defense, you had to have, you had to have, you had to have some special teams tackles, right? Because even Kayvon Frazier, even if he didn't play any defensive um, plays, he still had special team tackles. You didn't, you didn't tackle nobody. What was you doing out there on the sideline eating chips? You was eating chips. You was on the sideline eating chips, bro. You was one of them players. That was just there for five years and was just riding the coattails of the Legion of uh, Boom. That's what you was doing. I got it. I, I figured it out. I figured it out, y'all. I figured it out. He was just chilling. Um, he got to go to a Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like he 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 could brag to his friends, like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a DB on the uh, the Legion of Boom team, bro. Like you play? Nah, I don't even play though. But but I'm on a team. No, I got a jersey. I got a helmet. I mean, I went out there. I ran a couple of plays, but I ain't tackle nobody. 
You know why I ain't tagging nobody? Because Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor got him before you did. <laughs> Let me stop, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I, I just think it's hilarious. It is what it is. But like I said, like, share, comment. Yo, let me know what y'all think. It's your boy E2 Blue. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>